and they actually have the audacity to sell Folgers Classic Roast, 100 of them, $42. $42 for that. They should be ashamed of themselves. $50 for the Red Bull here. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I thought 36 was high. This is insane. $23.88 now for the precious metal aluminum foil. It keeps going up. Oh my gosh, look at this Reese's. See this? See this container right here? Tell me that's not $57 right there. $57 for that. Holy smolies. $44 for M&M's for a box of this. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. $44. <laughs> Would you buy it? We are a third world country wearing a Gucci belt and we put it on a credit card. That's what the United States is. We're all in debt. Everybody's in debt and the debt just keeps on climbing. Did you see where the debt just passed $33 trillion? Now we're almost at 34. We're at 34 almost. And you know what the war, the war with Israel right now. Oh my gosh, that's just another means to spend more money. We're going to be trillions and trillions in debt. It's just insane. But let's talk groceries. We're here at Sam's. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to check prices. We're going to see what's happening. I've been busy all week, so... Let's head in, let's check prices, let's see how we're getting screwed here, let's have some fun. Now I did see that gas has gone down here at Sam's, it's $3.16, holy cow. But you know what's going to happen with what's going on in Israel, that uh, that a lot of these super tankers, they're all going to be disrupted and by the, that's what they're going to use, that excuse for the gas to go up. And they're going to say, oh, the supply lines are cut. You're going to hear that. We're going to see the gas prices go up again. Yeah, you know that's coming. It's all a lie what the media says. I don't believe anything what the media says or the government. I try not to watch the local media because, you know, that's all they do is lie to you. They're smiling-faced liars. Anyways, let's head into Sam's. We're right here. Every Sam's Club you walk into, you're inundated with monster TVs. <laughs> Look at some of the prices on these. I know we have a big TV, but my gosh, look at these things. That's all you see now are big monster TVs. Monster prices, $16.98. Oh, look at all the pumpkins, $6.98. I guess that's not too bad for these big jumbo pumpkins. My gosh, if you're going to get a pumpkin, look at that, $6.98. My wife wants to go to a pumpkin patch this weekend, so we're going to film that. That's not bad. You'll never find that at a pumpkin patch, $6.98. And you can see, look at, there's Christmas stuff, Halloween stuff mixed in. Look at all the Christmas stuff here. More Christmas stuff. Look at this. It's piled as high as I am. And look, I'm 6'4". Look at that. $79 for this guy. 10 foot tall, inflatable. How long do you think this cheap thing's going to last? I'm sure it's made in China. Look at that. $79 for the nutcracker. You know, it's more than a nutcracker. It's a wallet cracker. That's what that is. <laughs> all this stuff some affordable pillows but you know seventeen dollars for a pillow like this slay all day oh my gosh you're gonna get screwed all day when you buy this stuff and here's some of the sam's trees 469 for the 12 footer that's all the lights you get that is that's all you get for lights my gosh oh there are different colors though 469 350 for that one 350 for that one and it comes in a box 350 199 for that guy it's that's just a look at that there's nothing to that tree no tinsel on it you can see it on the box there's nothing on that that's what you get for 199 dollars 189 for the frosted tree oh you're gonna you're gonna get frosted all right oh my gosh here's jolly old santa for 299 you won't be able to afford any christmas gifts if you buy that guy and here's another big uh, wallet cracker i mean a nutcracker same same cheap plastic right here six foot tall three hundred dollars take your pick they got plenty okay hon all right on a count of three one two three what do you say <laughs> hit and subscribe there you go fantastic thank you <laughs> oh my gosh look at this Reese's see this see this container right here tell me that's not fifty seven dollars right there fifty seven dollars for that holy smolies look at that what are you getting here? It's just Reese's and 375 pieces, but my gosh, $57? That's insane. That's crazy. I wonder how many people have bought this to give it away. Let's check out some of the Halloween, the candy that people will be giving out. Now, these aren't too bad, right? $14.84 for the Airheads. 
you know, you'd have to be an airhead to be giving out a lot of this stuff. I mean, in today's times, spending money, gummies, look at this. Lifesaver gummies. So I need a wallet saver, not a lifesaver. Well, I guess it is a lifesaver. Starburst, 36 of these. Look at this box, $33. $33 for Skittles. 23 for the Sour Skittles. Wild Berry Skittles, 33. M&M's, $40, $44 for this. Here's a box, $44 for M&M's. Holy smolies, are you kidding me? $44 for M&M's for a box of this. That's crazy, oh my gosh. $44, <laughs> would you buy it? Then there's the, that's the plane and then with peanut, $44. And here's the Snickers. So oh, the price isn't anything to snicker about. Look at it, looks like it's full. Three Musketeers. Look at three, three Musketeers, $33. It's the same, Twix are 33. Milky Ways, 33. 33.98 by the way these are great frozen but uh, butterfingers paydays you need a payday just to be able to buy it here's the kit kats love kit kats i just don't like the price 33 dollars there's nothing cheap here look at the prices of all the candy and people just give it away and my favorite veggie straws with sea salt here and they're, they're seven dollars and 48 cents for the guys 23.5 ounces and look at the bag, it's, it's only two-thirds of the bag, it says 30% less fat, oh my gosh, but 25% more cost. I remember these used to be $5.50 for these, and they used to be 28 ounces, now they're, they're 23 ounces, almost $8 for the thing, just crazy. And look at this popcorn, $6.58 for this, there's nothing to this, it's 14 ounces, $6.58 skinny pop. The reason they call it that is because your wallet gets skinnier. And my favorite rails, hopefully Campbell's won't screw this up, $9.98. And what I bought, these are 22-ounce jars. And what I bought at Costco were 28-ounce jars, and they were $11.99. But this is my favorite stuff. You know what tastes good in this? We're going to an Italian market tomorrow uh, that you dip focaccia bread in there. It's rosemary and garlic, and we're taking the rails with us. Oh, man, I tell you. And then they have a traditional, look at this pasta sauce, this prego people are buying this up and you get you get three of these guys oh, 798 that's not bad if you could if you can deal with prego I, I don't care for it myself but you know if you have to if you're on a budget and then ragu I don't care for ragu whatsoever and it looks like judging from this no one wants the ragu either but they'll take the prego but I'll take the rails any day of the week and you know potatoes have really gone up in price even these uh, real mashed potatoes right here in this look at this this is eight there's three pounds in here it doesn't seem like it 878 and these are just your uh freeze-dried real potatoes from real farms huh i've never tried those but it's 878 here's idaho and variety pack buttery home style roasted garlic two pounds eight eight forty eight for this so look at that stuff like this that should be maybe five dollars maybe six now it's almost nine dollars each everything you look at just is going up in price let's check some of this uh premium chicken breast members mark six pack 12.5 ounces chicken breast in a can not bad no preservatives no msg fully cooked 12.84 and what is this bumblebee i don't know i'm not a fan of bumblebee ready to ready to eat tuna 3.5 ounces they're little kits with crackers in them 15 15 dollars for this or 14.58 that's a little pricey there's there's nothing to this. Unbelievable, fourteen fifty-eight. Starkus light tuna more packs. Eleven eleven forty-seven. Wild. At least it's wild caught in water. So, in the ingredients, light tuna water, vegetable broth, and salt. So this is actually this isn't bad. The, just the price. <laughs> eleven forty-four. And here's some more Starkus chunk light tuna right here in water in the cans. And uh, ten ninety-eight. This doesn't look too bad. And um, in the ingredients, same thing. Light tuna water, vegetable broth. Not bad. I kind of like that. I like to see stuff that doesn't have a chunk light tuna in oil. 936 if you want the bumblebee. And look at this albacore. Oh, I do like albacore. Premium albacore, 1298. Eight pack, five ounces in here. So 1298. Is very attractive. Wild caught, solid white. I do, I do like that. This looks really good. Best if used by 2026, so it'll last a long time. $12.98, I like it. And here's some salmon, a canned salmon. I love canned salmon. It premium quality. 
Atlantic salmon in water, boneless, skinless. I don't see where it says wild caught though. That's what I look for. I don't see where it says wild caught. Atlantic salmon. Doesn't say it, but you know, I do like canned salmon more than I like canned tuna. 1598 for that. And you know what? <laughs> Look at this. These are the almond chocolate biscottis that I ate. And you know, this is the second pack I've eaten. And um, <laughs> there isn't anything left. My wife said, where'd all the biscotti go? I said, I don't know, hon. And she said, you're lying again. I said, yeah, probably. I just love these things. They're just irresistible. And um, they don't they don't even last a week with me. <laughs> 1048. I love the things. I'm not going to buy them, though. <laughs> I'll let my wife buy them. You know, she'll use my card. It comes out of the same account. Let's check some of the coffee. That's what I came here first. Cafe Bastello 1078. This is the instant. And um, it doesn't look bad, but I bet that's strong. Here's the Nescafe Classico here. Classico price 748 for this stuff. Holy smolies. Coffee's going up. Here's Folgers. You know, and some of this stuff, you don't even look at, you can see it. You don't even know what you get with this freeze-dried stuff. You don't know where the coffee beans come from. Maxwell House 1098. I always like Maxwell ha House Haas, House 1098. Folgers 1348. Decaf. I mean, come on. This is like not alcoholic beer. 1348. Here's the Folgers again. And you know, I watched a show on YouTube about coffee and they say it's one of the most uh, counterfeited as far as uh, you don't know where the beans come from. You don't know if they're even real beans. 1198 for that. 1498 because it says 100% Colombian. So, oops. Oh my gosh. Stay on there, guy. <laughs> so you don't know where the beans come from. And some of this stuff here. This is, I can't even, what is it, Pylon Family Pack. That's probably some strong stuff. And here's more of the Cafe Bastello, $13.58 for that. Then you get into the Colombian Supremo, $15.98 for a bag of this right here. Crafted with care, Arabica beans. What else? You have Donut Shop Coffee here. Then you get into the Starbucks, $21, $21 for Starbucks. More Starbucks, $21.93. Pablo's Pride. Somebody said it was really good. 1378. Oh, it smells really good. And Pike Place. Pike Place. This is what they use in all the places. All the Starbucks is Pike Place Roast. And it's ground. $21.93. 22 bucks. There's your prices. Oh, wait. We can't forget Duncan. In, in the plastic container. $21.98. Oh, here's some more coffee. Look at this. Starbucks. These are the little K cups. 72 two count 39.98 i'm starting to stutter <laughs> look at the price 39.98 duncan original blend of curing cups they call the k cups 39.98 my gosh and the k cups I, I thought they were done 33 for that on sale 14 for whatever the variety pack is this donut shop 27.98 27.98 for that my gosh french roast $27.98 organic dark roast $27 breakfast blend $27.98 nothing is cheap and they actually have the audacity to sell Folgers classic roast 100 of them $42 $42 for that they should be ashamed of themselves uh, cafe uh, uh, Bustello $34.78 and Maxwell House $36.28 but that's ridiculous Folgers come on now there's a lot of people that are into uh, Red Bull and these monster drinks. So you get 24 of them for 16 ounces. And I see people drink these all the time. Here's Monster Energy drinks. I don't think they're good for your heart. I'm not a doctor though. 36.78 because they're full of caffeine. Monster Energy drinks here. Holy cow. I bet this is loaded with caffeine. And uh, they have some stuff that I've seen. It Here's Red Bull where they call it Red Line. And I think it's called... it's just similar to calling it flatline <laughs> that's not good either red bull 36 here's red bull here 36.98 for these guys but it's better than going to a 7-eleven and buying them singly you'd be real really ripped off here look at this 50 bucks for this 50 dollars for the red bull for that one holy smolies 50 dollars that's just nuts $50 for the Red Bull here. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I thought 36 was high. This is insane. Now, I bought some fries here before, and I bought these waffle fries. Four pounds of 748, and I bought six pounds 
for it was ten dollars and on sale for eight dollars at uh, Costco and they're horrible they used to be crinkle cuts but these are really good for 748 and oh look at that look at look at the stuff look what happens here and I didn't do that but these are really good 748 for four pounds they taste just like chick-fil-a just delicious I've never tried these sweet potato fries they're probably good but the thing with sweet potato fries is you got to eat them once they're out of the oven otherwise they just they just turn wimp crispy oven break baked air I can't talk to the air fryer ready sweet potato fries I love sweet potato fries let's check out some of the seafood I see these beer batter cod fillets here are 1478 which isn't too bad but like I said you get a lot of batter I bet they're good Alaskan sockeye salmon 23 98 and you get them individually wrapped so I like the sockeye and they're wild caught all sockeye is wild caught that looks delicious doesn't it and here's some Alaskan marinated Alaskan salmon 21 98 ready to cook you know the thing I don't like about marinated fish is you can't clean it that's the only thing you can't you can't clean it so I stay away from that here's Gordon's fish fillets 1398 you might as well just call them battered battered fillets wild fillets wild Alaska Pollock and they show very little batter but they're full of batter on them here's super crunchy fish sticks and you know this is all mushed up fish right there and 1198 they're on sale but as a kid, that's what my mom fed us all the time, were fish sticks. I don't know what they were made of, but we just gobbled them up. Ahi tuna, two pounds, $16.48. Let's check this out. Let's, oh, it looks good on the package. It actually looks good there. Look how red that is. It looks really good. Let's pull out another package and see, see how it looks. Look at that. I mean, it, it looks pretty good. You can see it from the camera just a little bit. That's really red. Ahi tuna, $16.48 for two pounds. My wife would buy this if she was with me. She's working tonight. Mahi mahi, two pounds, $16.98. Tilapia, and I bet these are farm farm raised here. Skinless, boneless, and wrapped, but they're probably farm raised. And product of China. Did you see that? Product of China. I'm, I'm, I'd put them back. I don't think so. I wouldn't, uh, you know. Not a recommendation, but $13.98 for Chinese tilapia. You know, roll the dice. Atlantic salmon, $23.98. $23.98 Atlantic salmon, antibiotic free. But the antibiotic free, but they're they're farm raised. And uh, $23.98, and that's fake coloring that's put in there. You know, I've eaten enough of it, but um, I like the uh, sockeye better. And here's the butterfly shrimp on sale, three pounds, sixteen ninety-eight. And these are fantastic in oil. And I'm sure it's not good for you to eat them, but you know what? They're just delicious. A little bit of butter and a little bit of lemon juice. I'll take them. Let's head over to the precious metals aisle. Look at this. Foil has gone up twenty-three eighty-eight for foil. You see that? Same with Costco. It went way up. This used to be $14 on sale, then it went up to $19, and now it's $23.88. That's just ridiculous. And this is stayed at $19.96. I don't know why, probably because this is more popular. But $23, it's gone up almost four bucks. Four bucks because it's a precious metal. My gosh. $23.88 now for the precious metal aluminum foil. It keeps going up. All this water has gone up. Here's the Zephyr Hills Mini, 48 uh, eight ounces or eight dollars. Zephyr Hills water right here, 778, 798 for 28, 20 fluid ounces, 798. Look at that, eight dollars now for all your water. My gosh, it just keeps going up and up. Let's check the drumsticks. 98 cents a pound still. What a deal! Can't beat it. 564 for this entire package no antibiotics no hormones all natural vegetarian fed look at how much they have and young chicken of course they're all young what do you think they're going to sell old chickens a dollar 38 a pound for chicken thighs bone on skin on that's not bad look at that 994 for that whole thing chicken wings are how much are the chicken wings here look at this they're all these are all reduced i don't buy anything that has a reduced thing on it but the chicken wings are $2.88 a pound. I bought uh, chicken wings without the tips on them at Costco for $2.49 and put them in the air fryer. They were delicious, but still, 
this is 20 bucks for all these chicken wings. Could you imagine that on game day? You know, I'm a I'm a big NFL guy, so and you know, I'm not going to pick a team because uh, you know, whatever team uh, I know what one I know what team won the uh, Super Bowl, but uh, I'm in Tampa and they have a new quarterback. They got Brady out, so uh, and the quarterback is doing pretty well. But uh, you know, wings are great for game day. Now this is a Friday, and I don't know why they would have reduced prices on salmon. 11.68 for skinless salmon, and it may be the date used by 10.16. I don't know why it's reduced. I don't know why. Every time I see that, I get worried. Usually, you see it on a Monday, where the salmon's reduced. But oh, this is my favorite sockeye. It's always wild. 10.98. Doesn't that look good? But this one one thing of salmon, this one side of salmon, is 31. 31.95 for that. 31 dollars. 32 dollars, 36, 38 dollars for one side of salmon. That's a little pricey. And here's the tuna. 10.98. It's not that red. The tuna's not that red. I don't like it when it's like that. And it's, there's ice crystals, so it's frozen. Here's some uh, fresh tilapia. 6.48 a pound, right there. Farm raised, of course. But it's farm raised in the USA, so this I would try that. And the cod, oh, I love the cod. $8.98 a pound. Look at that. Wild caught Pacific cod. This is this is just delicious. Love it. Great catch seafood product of Indonesia. But does it say wild caught? It doesn't really say. It doesn't say it. I, I can't tell. And here's some great caught product of Peru. Uh, mahi Mahi. It doesn't say if it's wild caught. I don't see it, but $8.98 and the Great Cat Seafood is $10.48 here for the snapper and you don't know what kind of snapper it is but it's from Indonesia. You know you really can't beat Sam's Club for uh, the pork chops and um, look at all the pork chops. Two, oh the $2.88 a pound now. Oh what happened? $2.88 for those. How much are these? These are $1.98 if you buy this big package right here. Holy cow that's a lot. $17. Look at them all. I've had these before. They're fantastic. I mean, for a family, that's what I go for. This is the the pork here is really good at Sam's. What a great price! A dollar ninety-eight for all those bone-in pork chops. What a deal! All their bread products have gone up. Everything with bread, sourdough brulee right here, five ninety-eight. This just doesn't look that good. Five ninety-eight for some of those buns, brioche slider buns, five ninety-eight. Yeast dinner rolls, three ninety-eight. $6.98 for some of these, $6.98 for that. My gosh, all this bread's gone up. $6.48, $4.48 for this. Yep, everything is going up, all the bread. Because of the flour and the flour, a lot of the flour comes from Ukraine. Now the thing that isn't a bargain still are the yellow peaches. $11.88 for these guys. $11.88 for four pounds. And um, I don't know where they're from. What does it say? California. What happened to the Georgia peaches? Five pounds of Clementines is seven forty-six here. Seven forty-six. They're called cuties. Oh, they're delicious too. And these apple pears are nine ninety-eight for six of them. Nine ninety-eight. Someone, uh, could someone tell me if these are any good because they are expensive. And uh, here you got um, six-pound bag of seedless oranges right here. Six pounds. And what is that again? Seven seven seventy-eight right there. And here's your three pounds of limes for four dollars and sixty-two cents. And the lemons are what? Three eighty-four. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. But look at look at how tiny they are. Three dollars and eighty-four cents. Oh my gosh. And um, Sam's Club, they sell mattresses here. <laughs> All the mattresses, and they even sell them in a box. Look at this. To go mattresses. Sir to sleep to go six ninety nine, five ninety nine, five ninety nine for that hotel premier collection, four ninety nine, and look at the nectar memory foam mattress, seven ninety nine for that, five ninety nine, five four ninety nine, three ninety nine. Now we're getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Two ninety nine and one ninety nine. <laughs> so there's your mattresses, and look how many that they have up there. Holy cow, they can't sell them. Look at the prices though, no wonder. Well, that's it for today's show. I hope everybody enjoyed the show. I hope I showed you a bunch of different prices. I mean, I know I know the videos run a little bit long, you know, but sometimes they have to to be able to, I gotta get out of the light of that. There's a spotlight there. 
sometimes I have to if you want to see a bunch of different items because you know if I only had a video that ran 10 minutes you're only gonna see about what 10 12 items I want to show a lot I want to show you guys a lot of items so I hope you enjoyed the show today give me a thumbs up for like don't forget to hit the subscribe button until next time this is Scott with the real economy we'll see you